All right. Hi, everybody. So, I was actually already opened this and was realizing I wanted to give a review um, because all the ones I see on YouTube are sponsored. I mean, they sold me on it because I bought one. <laughs> they sold me on the curiosity. Um, but it was cheap enough um, to try out. And actually, this was a Christmas present from my, my folks, my grandmother. So um, anyway, it looks really cool, really nice. A uh, nice gig bag, surprisingly. It's thick, backpack straps, very protective, so that, that was impressive. Of course, that's the least of our concerns at the moment. Um, anyway, really nice look. Feels really good. Um, I don't know much about wood. I feel like you don't really see this on most mahogany guitars, or most guitars in general. Looks like it has been embellished some for dramatic purposes, maybe. I don't know, but it looks nice. Um, I like the, the pegs, the black pegs. It's kind of kind of neat, um, but feels good. Feels, it feels kind of thick and heavy, um, like what I've experienced from, I'd say, cheaper guitars. Um, but it feels good at the same time. Uh, the neck feels really good. The action feels nice. Uh, I just tuned it a few minutes ago before I started video. say for the money it seemed like a really good purchase uh, it might just be a practice guitar a starter guitar oh and this one is the live I got the Oliver Jr. Mahogany live so it has a pickup that was uh, two hundred and seventy five dollars you can see there's the pickup inside uh, so without the pickup, it's one ninety-five. With the pickup, two seventy-five. It's a Fishman, nice Fishman pickup, which I think usually you gotta spend about a hundred bucks uh, to have one of those installed. So the you know we're talking about eighty dollars extra if you want that when you purchase it. So not bad. Anyway, enough about that. Let's see how it sounds more. I think it's still, I think it sounds pretty good. few mahogany guitars in my life and they're always a little bit quieter uh, but it's like warmer maybe even fuller in a way but yeah they're gonna be quieter than the lighter wood guitars usually are brighter um, a little louder but I'm liking this
Sounds pretty good. I need to fix my nails. <laughs> they could be a little better right now. <laughs> Complications to the things that I've left undone. That all my debts will be left unpaid. Feel like a crippled out of cane. I'm like a jack of all trades who's a master of none. on the bright side saying things like son life just ain't that hard he is the grand optimist I am the world's worst pessimist you give him burden sometimes and he will escape unscarred heard the name, I'm not familiar, I've never played them before till now, they you know, seem okay I guess. Um, I hear a lot of people that are always bringing up elixirs. I used elixirs when they first came out, like 20 years ago or longer. Um, I used them for a year or two, a couple of years I think, and I just, I didn't like them. They didn't, there was too much of the coating, which seemed to dull the sound a little bit, and uh, and then it just didn't seem to last that long. And it would get shredded easily. And, um, so I've uh, been faithful with uh, Diodario strings, primarily the EXP 17. I think they're now EXP 16. Uh, medium gauge, but those also have a type of coating, but they're just good. I think they last longer and sound better. I definitely recommend trying it out. But yeah, I think it's EX Diodario EXP 16 um, medium gauge is what I use. So try them out. I think you'll like them.
Sure, it's not sounding quite as good as the the Taylor uh, GX GS. Like I've got one of those, the first one that ever came out, the Big Baby Taylor is what it was called. Um, I've used it forever, but it's finally on its last last strings, I'm afraid. But looking forward to trying this out, plugging it in, and uh, you know, might actually be something I could use on gigs every now and then. We'll see. Not sure yet. Pick up wires. <laughs> I'm gonna investigate later. <laughs> <laughs> 